We heal with zeal. Together, we navigate new frontiers. Hi everyone, I am Dr. Alok Sardesai, pediatric endocrinologist. And on the occasion of World Thyroid Day, let us discuss a few points on newborn screening for congenital hypothyroidism. Now, first of all, why the need to screen every baby for congenital hypothyroidism is simply because the incidence of congenital hypothyroidism in India is 1 in 1000 to 1 in 1500 babies. That means it's more than what you see worldwide. And if you just go by the clinical parameters, there is high likelihood of missing most of the cases because only up to 5% of cases are symptomatic at birth and up to 10% of cases are symptomatic by the end of one month. Hence the need to screen every baby which is born. Now how do you go about screening? The first sample is to be taken uh, from the cord blood or at 72 hours of life if you have not collected the cord blood. Now how do you assess the cord blood sample? You look at TSH values, remember three values 80, 40 and 20. If your cord TSH is more than 80, treat right away, do not wait, just collect a confirmatory sample, do not even wait for the reports, start treating immediately. If your cord TSH is more than 40, repeat the sample at 72 hours. If the cord TSH is more than 20, repeat the sample on day 7. Now how do you assess the confirmatory samples that you are taking? For the TSH cutoff, remember two values. If your baby is less than 2 weeks old, your TSH for normalcy is less than 20. And if your baby is beyond the 2 week mark, your TSH for normalcy is less than 10. If your TSH is above these cutoffs, repeat the TSH after 2 weeks. Now what is the other scenario for the confirmatory sample if you are looking at T4 or free T4. Now any T4 which is less than 8 microgram per dl is a low T4 and any free T4 less than 1.1 nanogram per dl is a low free T4. In both these situations you would want to treat immediately do not wait a single day. Any T4 which is more than 10 nano, uh, microgram per dl and any free T4 which is more than 1.17 nanogram per dl is normal. Now in the first scenario when you have repeated the TSH in two weeks how do you proceed further? If your baby was more than two weeks you took a cutoff of 10 if your baby was within two weeks you, cut a, you took a cutoff of 20 and you repeated the sample in two weeks. Now this sample your TSH cutoff has already come down to a value of 10. If your TSH is less than 10 it's normal. If your TSH is more than 10 you start treating beyond third week of life and then reassess at three years of age. Let us understand that newborn screening for congenital hypothyroidism has been one of the most successful programs worldwide in preventive pediatrics. Because it is a preventable cause of intellectual disability, I would urge everyone to screen every newborn for congenital hypothyroidism. And let thank Navi Mumbai IIP to, uh, to give me this opportunity to speak on World Thyroid Day. Thank you.